Hey guys, I'm Kelly. Wait. Hey guys, I'm Callie Lewis. It is foundation repair time here at the new Geek House. Welcome to Geek Beats. This episode of Geek Beat is brought to you by lynda.com. Well, we just got back, like literally last night, late, late, late from NAB. We had a fantastic time, more on that later. But now we come, we come to check out what's happening at the Geek House with all the construction. And look what we found. <laughs> so they are ready to do the uh, foundation repair. So I want to walk you through what, what's going on here. So there are a couple of kinds, as I understand it, foundation repairs. Uh, what we're doing is called drill piers. Now there is another option called press piling where they take this, these piers, and they push them down into the foundation with 9,000 PSI. Now, what we're doing, that, that takes a, a lot shorter of a time. It's like a day process. What we are doing is drill piers where they have literally drilled down to the bedrock and they then filled it in with concrete. We have 11 different holes here. <laughs> all throughout the building, at the front of the building at least, and they filled it in with concrete. We had to wait six days before we could come back and finish it. And by we, I mean the royal we, these yeah. awesome guys here. <laughs> no, I'm not doing anything. Uh, all right, so now you see the 22 pound uh, jacks. Ton, ton. Uh, sorry, the 22 ton <laughs> jacks. You know, that's a, that's a little different. Yeah. Um, and what we're trying to do here is you see this right here? This is a, the crack that we're trying to uh, have meet. So this is what we don't want. The foundation itself was was sinking and it was separating, as as you can see with that that little hole right there. So when it's all said and done, there should be no <laughs> gap right here. Now, what's I, I want you to actually walk over here. Sorry, <laughs> and. There's a difference over here. So we have this big tree um, and we have created, they've done a root barrier through here. This is to make sure that uh, the tree roots don't start going back into the building at some point in the future and messing with the foundation again. Now, this, so the root barrier will be filled in with hard plastic. Uh, after they've taken care of the foundation. Look how deep that hole is. I know, so. They had to go way down you there. You see this wall, this this sub section of it is very different. So usually the foundation is like about a foot or so. On this side, it's way down there, as you said, John. And so they had to, they just had to keep digging. Um, Good God. <laughs> so that is pretty much it. What's gonna happen is they're going to start jacking the building up, put these piers in, and then set it and forget it. That's pretty much it, so let's see it happening. You hear the building creaking? Listen to that. But you know, all that creaking that's coming off, that's like uh, the roof actually. Um, the, all that stress was on the, on roof. the roof. Essentially, the roof so was holding up the. It was holding the weight of all of this Crap. because the foundation was not. And so, as they lifted it, the, the roof was, yeah. you know, going back to relieving stress. It's amazing. This is called compute level. That it's electronic level and takes the elevations of the foundation and any structure that we want to know how much is on level and how far we should raise it. So this is just the electronic machine. We set it on zero, and it means my reference point is zero. 
and then with respect to this point I measure the differential elevations of the other points now you can see exactly how much the foundation repair company raised the foundation what was it before yeah what like do you compare it to what it was before or yes. Yes. okay for example before I took the elevations and the elevations was three and a half inches down but right now it's only eight tenths of inch less than one inch so comparing to what it was the foundation repair company raised this part of foundation almost approximately three inches nice all right well it is 30 minutes later we've slowed them down quite a bit but it's done look at this <laughs> we have the uh what did they cookies. call these cookies this is a, a slang name for the these those are cookies there's the pier and uh we have a shims here steel shims that are so i i didn't know this i'm going to tell you these shims here help with the overall or the long-term shifting because it's going to happen right uh, so instead of more concrete which will kind of rub together and and cause some problems potentially uh, the steel will just keep it in place or allow shifting without uh, sh without destroying shifting the without destroying the concrete. Thank you. I was <laughs> and then, um, yeah, so you can see everything is flat and even now. There is, uh, over here is where the hole was, or the, uh, the seam. The gap. And look at that. No gap. How beautiful is that? Well, you come to Geek Beat because you want to learn about foundation repair. <laughs> but <laughs> uh, when you want to learn about anything else, you just go to lynda.com. Because you can learn about web design, you can learn about business, you can learn about 3D animation, how to do video and photography. So you guys go to lynda.com, L-Y-N-D-A, slash Geek Beat, and you're gonna get seven days for free. You can learn so much in seven days. I've learned a ton in 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Thumbs up on youtube.com slash geekbeat.tv. Two of you got them, bye.